Welcome to the World of Sumo News. I'm Mika Grimmer, and there have been lots of new happenings in the world of sumo, so let's get right down to this week's sumo news. Hakioi! The Japan Sumo Association has reported that three rikishi will be promoted to Jiro in November's Kyushu Basho. The first rikishi is Asuna Waka from Takasago Beya. Asuna Waka being his new Shikona. You might recognize him as Tawasawa. He's a rikishi whose mawashi was stolen from outside of his heya but it was particularly upsetting for him because it also contained the remnants of his deceased pet rabbit. The second rikishi is Hiro no Umi from Sakai Galabea. At only 21 years old, he has a pretty impressive consecutive five kachikoshi record. That's it for the Shinjiro, but we also have one other rikishi returning to Jiro, and that's Kotopuzan. His debut was back in July, which resulted in a 4-11 record and an immediate demotion back to Makushita. And some exciting news, Ichinojo, the Mongolian giant and current Komasubi of Minato Beya, has obtained Japanese citizenship as reported on NHK on September the 29th. Japanese citizenship is required to one day become an Oyakata. We hope that it's still many years away though. Speaking of retirement, before we get to the big white phoenix in the room, I'd like to mention the 13 other Rikishi who have retired since Nagoya Basho. All of their names are listed below this video. It's official, and the world of sumo stood in shock as arguably the greatest rikishi and yokozuna of all time, Hakuho Sho, retired. As of September 30th, 2021, he will take the name Magaki Oyakata after he signed a conditional agreement with the Kyokai in order to obtain the kabu. In March 2021, Hakuho purchased the Migaki Elder Stock. In April 2021, a committee outside the Sumo Association recommended that the Ichidai Toriyoshi system, in which exceptional Yokozuna are given a one-generation elder status and allow them to keep their Shikona after retirement, to be discontinued. This recommendation proved to be controversial as it was seen to be aimed at Hakuho, who would have been the first wrestler since Takanohana in 2003 to be given this honor. The Japanese the Sumo Association's Board of Directors officially finalized Hakuho's retirement on September 30th. This was one day after they had already fixed the Banzuke for the November tournament. That means Hakuho's name will be on the Banzuke one final time. Yokozuna Hakuho, or Magaki Oyakata as he's called now, will stay on as coach at Miyagi no Beya for the time being, although there are reports that he intends to open his own heya in Nihonbashi in Tokyo. He has also been mentioned as a possible successor to the current head of Miyagi no Beya, the former Chikubayama, who will reach the mandatory retirement age of 65 in August 2022. Hakuho has already recruited several wrestlers himself, including the former Maigashira Daikiho, popular lightweight Enho and Ishiura, as well as the 200 centimeter Mongolian born Hokuseho, to name a few. During his emotional retirement interview, Hakuho admitted that after his 10th win during Nagoya Basho, he told Miyagi no Oyakata and the rest of his heya of his intention to retire after the Basho. Due to Yokozuna Teruno Fuji's promotion, the Olympics, and the Paralympics, as well as COVID cases at Miyagi no Beya, right before the September Basho, timing of this announcement was difficult. When asked what kind of Oyakata Hakuho wished to be, he said, one full of kindness and discipline, like Miyagi no Oyakata. That's it for this edition of World of Sumo News. I'm Mika Grimmer. Thank you for listening, and we'll see you on the next one.